three minute mark left here in the first quarter. Schran takes it. And she's got all nine of your Catholics points and that gives them a one point advantage. Greg, I know what Coach Bank Bankos is talking about when he says she's she's the best that your your Catholics had in a long time because I tell you what I I'm I'm amazed at her versatility as we're watching her play. And we talked about her ability to get assists to dish off the ball, and she's you'll watch her penetrate if she doesn't have the shot. You saw her dish it off the clunk a number of times. Well, here's the thing: when you're five nine doing this, uh, you know it, it's one thing. Uh, to be a little like a 5-4, five, 5-5 five, five guard. But when you're 5 of 9 doing this, you're doing this against, she's doing this against a 6-2 defender. Well, we got a foul out front here, right in front of us. And uh, Ashley Betts White called for the foul. I actually think it's a good idea what Coach Britton's doing, having Anna on her, but Anna needs to be more, uh, allow the, the give up shot and not allow the drive container. Talked about turnovers, and Trinity has five that your Catholic has forced. That missed, and we're going to whistle away from the ball. Or on the ball, and it'll be a foul. So your Catholic can put a little bit more pressure in the backcourt. You see the uh, two respective coaches in the foreground, Kevin Bankos and Christy Britton for Trinity. Anna Kuntz will inbounds. The pass deep down court for Brianna Betts White, and she has to slow it up for a cutting two for Trinity. Shea Klein, her first two of the game. Yeah, Kristen's done a good job of getting her bench in, in the game earlier, and it's paying off for her because those are some fresh legs running down the court there. 2.09 left, clock rolling, bottom left hand corner of your screen. Schran's got 11. And so does your Catholic. Another baseball pass down court, and Anna Kuntz was fouled. Well, watching Katie play, it's like watching a, watching a kid on the playground just having their way, uh, saying, don't worry, I got next. You know what I mean? It's like amazing. Uh, her crossover, her jump shot. Um, you know, it's, it's like watching a uh, you know, college basketball player already playing with, with high school kids. Anna Kuntz. Missing. Look about so many great players coming out of this area. Alyssa Thomas, who we saw last oh, year. yes. And we have a feature coming up on her later this week on ABC 27. She is one of the leading scorers. She had been the leading scorer at the University of Maryland. Now she's second by a couple of, of, of points. Uh, injured her knee. Uh -huh. But she is off to an incredible start at the University of Maryland. Well, that shows how good the conference is here in Pennsylvania and the competition she's had to go up against. It's very good. But it also shows what kind of player she is. Uh, Alyssa has one thing that that, that Katie Sharan, they have the, the body for that next level. Uh, the strength, quickness, they got the whole package with skills. Now Morgan Clunk hits two and the foul. 5'9 sophomore and she's got great court sense and she's given her team a two point lead with a chance to make it three. First player other than Sharan to score for your Catholic. Irish are up by three. Under two left here in the first quarter. Greg Mace, Charlie Fortney, glad you're with us here on ABC 27. The first of our long schedule of high school basketball live and stay with us. Right after this game, we're gonna bring you the York Catholic and Trinity boys game. Well, that's what Betts White does best. She, she brings it to you. Now, someone at home might be watching saying, well, she forced that, but, but a player like that, getting that ball, attacking, puts that defense on the heels, it's gonna open up a lot of opportunities, and she does that as good as anybody. Off the of Mistano shot, your Catholic gets it back. Chance to add to their three-point advantage. Quarter number one. Three. Carly McFatridge. Been a while since Trinity scored here. Well, they've been getting opportunity. It's, I think, York Catholic has stepped up their defense. Big whirling move by Betts White. She's got four. 
Under yeah. a minute left. And she's showing why she's old Dominion bound. She just did it against another Division One player. Schran. York Catholic got their own rebound. And Carly Marks draws the foul. 5'11", Junior. Hey, Greg, I'm curious. Does this game remind you a little bit of the Cumberland Valley Trinity game girls last year? Was yes. Track me. <laughs> I mean, it's 17-13 at this rate. Wow. 70-some uh, points. Uh, that's, that's, that's a nice um, start. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a good opening quarter. I mean, a lot of times you could get an opening quarter in, in the first game of the year and a second for another team. You know, it could be 7-6. 5-4, got some scores here. Well, we had coaches give us feedback last year that, that when, when, the, when the kids have known they're on TV, their whole level of intensity steps up, and it could be that they know they're on TV, and they're just, they're just showing all out here today. That's White for three. Plunk got the rebound, here comes your Catholic. Plunk to the line. Kuntz got the rebound. Under 20 left. Betts White underneath the two. That's a great entry pass. Defensively, though, they keep giving the Trinity girls that angle. Josie McGash has four. Schran. Don't get the shot off. Great first quarter of play. Your Catholic with a three-point advantage, 18-15, and High School Basketball Live continues on ABC 27, presented by Arlington Orthopedics. Fortney Construction is on the move, building additions, renovations, and Pella certified for window and door replacements with a quality of work that the customer can count on. Call today, ask about solar and energy solutions, as well as our solar module installation. You can save money on electric, and the electric company will send you cash for the solar energy your panels generate. Integrity, reliability, and experience is what Fortney Construction's all about, and it's a great name. <laughs> 